Hey everyone, for our next worksheet, we're going to work on not just using the pen tool, but also experiment with the pencil tool and the brush tool, but also how we can apply different widths and different brushes to the pen tools or the pencils and brushes that we use after that. So this video is not going to be about uh, necessarily using the pen tool or pencil tool, but what can we do with those once we're done with them? All right, so this first one, I'm going to zoom in. This first one is that you're going to draw with the pen tool, take the pen tool, and you're going to basically trace this line. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, and you'll come up with this shape right here. Now, once we're done with it, there's all kinds of different shapes and brushes and cool things we can do with it. So we're going to go and open up our brushes toolbar. We're going to go to Window, Brushes. Then we're going to go to Decorative Banners and Seals. So after you draw your line, let's have it selected. I'm going to come up here to Window, Brushes. And we'll open up our brushes toolbar. Now what we got to do is look for decorative banners and seals. And where we're going to find this is underneath in the bottom left, sort of like where we find our swatches. In this bottom left, this is our brush libraries. So I'm going to click on the bottom. And I'm going to go to decorative banners and seals. Now, even after this video, you're going to want to check out this after this worksheet. Go ahead and check out. There's all kinds of cool things in here. And I'm not going to be able to go through all of them, but we're going to go to decorative banners and seals. We got scatter, text dividers, floral, all kinds of stuff. Let's just do banners and seals. And on our banners and seals toolbar that pops up, we have all types of banners that we can create. Um, obviously, for this first one, we're going to grab on this green one, and there we go. You got your banner. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close this toolbar and move this brushes off to the side. The next one is this R. And again, the last video talks about actually tracing this. So you're going to trace this R. And then what I want you to do is copy and paste, which is going to be Control C, Control V. We can copy and paste and put your R here. And I want it to make it look like this finished example. Well, how do we get out this blue line like this? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Brushes, Artistic. So I already have brushes open. But I'm going to, again, come back to this bottom left corner and go to Artistic. And I'm going to go to Chalk charcoal pencil chalk charcoal pencil and there's all kinds of cool ones and we're going to try to find the closest one we can here let's move these out of the way so we can check this out and let's click on this first one second one that might be it right there nope it's going to come pretty close might be this charcoal pencil with the stroke increased and we can go ahead and change our stroke color to a blue and there we go for that one maybe a little bit darker there all right so I'm going to go control zero to zoom out to our whole page. This one we're going to try with the pencil tool. Now, again, we're going to do the same thing over here. You're going to copy and paste. Once you finish this, I'm going to copy and paste. Now there is one trick. It was control C, control V to make a copy. But if you want to try something else, there's the alt key, which is really kind of cool. If you click and drag something, but you hold the alt key on your keyboard, hold alt and you drag something over, it's going to make a copy of it. Make sure you let go of your mouse first. Now this one, a quick video on this one. I'm going to just move this out of the way. For the pencil tool, your pencil tool is up over here. It's your pencil tool. And you literally just kind of, you're going to come and trace this exactly as is. It's really super simple. It's not like the pen tool where you have to click and drag and have anchors. You just come back with the pencil and you're going to trace this just like you were using tracing paper. All right, I'm going to go Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, move back there, zoom out. Now, though, how do we get this finished example to look like this one? This one is not under your brushes, but it's under your width. So when you have it selected, obviously, you know that we could increase the stroke right here, but we're going to increase this uniform width right here and change this to different widths that you can experiment. Try a couple of these, see how it looks. And I'm going to increase the stroke right here. And we could go ahead and change this to red. All right, let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Control minus minus. And this last part is we're going to use the brush tool. Actually, here's my finished version. I'm going to move this out of the way. Um, I did have to clean that up a little bit. I'm going to come up here to our brush tool. And the paintbrush allows us, it, it allows you to brush, but it does kind of clean it up a little bit. Now, when you're done with it, though, this is just like the pen tool. When you're done, you can come to your white arrow and click on any of these brush strokes, any of these brush strokes, and clean up these anchor points if you want to move them over and get a little bit more accurate. 
your brushes are also, let me go back to my brush tool. Your brushes actually have different size over here on your brush toolbar. There's a brush stroke where we can increase and have a larger brush stroke. This is a five point, a 15 point. I'm gonna go back to the five point and just brush this right here. It takes a little while. Once we use our, our graphics tablets, this will get a lot easier. But I'm gonna zoom out, control minus, minus, minus. I already have this done and it's already cleaned up. So this is my brush. Oops, I got into isolation mode. This is the brush that I did. We're going to copy and paste over here. Either control C, control V, copy and paste or hold the Alt key. I'm gonna make a copy here, but I'm also gonna make a copy for these next two. So I'm gonna make a copy here. Again, I'm holding the Alt key, Control Z. Let me come over here, hold the Alt key. Oops, this is behind it. So let's go ahead and go to our right click, Arrange. I'm gonna bring it to the front. And let's just do Control C, Control V again, Control C, Control V. I'm gonna make another copy and put it here. Now for these ones though, we're gonna go back to our brushes. I'm gonna to go to brushes, artistic uh, calli calligraphy. I'll just say that and say that. Uh, let's close this one. So I'm on my brushes. Come down here to artistic and calligraphy. And on these ones, we're gonna to try to find one to have different little calligraphy brushes to try to get it as close as possible. Oops, I'm on the wrong one selected. Click here. Uh, a little bit smaller, and I think we got it pretty close to our calligraphy one right there. Spacebar, move the page over. Uh, there's our calligraphy. Let's just go and close these. Again, brushes. Artistic and ink. Now let's go ahead and check these out. Let's check out our, these ink brushes. You can get a lot of toolbars, so let's go and click around. Oops. Control Z, you gotta have the right one selected. So I'm gonna come, come here, click on this first one, and that might be the right one. But there's a lot of cool options with these brushes here. All types of different ink, as if you're using different types of pens uh, to come up with these different options. But for this one, we're gonna be on that first one right there. All right, Control Zero, close this, move it out of the way. And this is what your final project, final product should look like. All right, hope that helps, have fun. If you're done early, go ahead and draw some lines and click around and explore through these brushes down here at the bottom. There's all kinds of fun ones to work with. Draw any type of path and then experiment and explore with these if you want to put some on the outside of your page. All right, have fun.